everybody it's your favorite auntie mo and we are back with another episode review of love and hip-hop hollywood this is season six episode four reckless before we get into the review if you have not done so just yet go ahead and subscribe to my channel at this point what the hell is you waiting on if you come back and watching my reviews go and subscribe to your auntie damn good plan let me know what you think of this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down and hit the notification button so you will know whenever i upload new content y'all let me just let y'all know right now this doggone lyrica and a1 crap is about to get on my nerves this monice and april crap is about to get on my nerves and this britney b chick She's really just starting to get on my nerves. She's like rubbing me raw. I just, I, I can't with her and can't. But hopefully you guys are ready for the review. I'm ready to give it to you. So let's get right on up into it. All right, y'all. So the episode starts off. It's A1, Mickey Monday, Fizz, Booby. Booby with his old fine. Mm. And a couple of the big three players, right? They all out there on the court playing basketball. Now, listen, I was watching um, Ashley Shaw Miller. If y'all don't watch Ashley Miller, she's another YouTuber. I was watching her video, her review on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood earlier this morning. And when I tell you, she said the exact same thing I said when I seen them on that court. Mickey Monday out there trying to play some damn basketball. Boy, don't you know why Mickey can't jump? <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing I thought of. Well, some white men, you know, Larry Bird, hello, duh. But Mickey, no, baby, no. Just, just go ahead and hang that up. But they out there playing basketball. Then they start having a little girl talk or whatever. Start talking about relationships. So Booby asked Fizz, he's like, you know what? So, you know, I've been seeing on the blogs and said another, what's up with you and Rachel? I mean, not Rachel, what's up with you and uh, April? I heard that's like your best friend. Are y'all claiming to be friends? People say y'all messing around. Like, what's really going on with y'all? Here go Fizz with this old lame ass excuse. Nah, that's just my friend. Like, somebody I can talk to. She there to lean on. Like, that's just my best friend. Now, let's pause. All the ladies out there that ain't shamed to admit you ain't been saved your whole doggone life. How many of us have had best friends? Anyway, moving on from that. You know what I'm saying, Fizz is like, no, we're just friends, ain't nothing going on, whoop the whoop the doo So, Booby is like, well, you know what I'm saying, if you giving me the okay, I'm going to go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, try to get up in that thing, shoot my shot, you know what I'm saying, what's going on with that. Now, Fizz didn't say, yeah, but he didn't say no either. Booby was asking Fizz, he was like, what's up, why don't you go and holler at it for me? Fizz like, why well, I got to be the middle person on good and damn well, Fizz already up in that thing, he ain't gonna get you up in there. He already up in there. So he was like, why well, I got to be the, you know what I'm saying? He was like, because you the best friend, you know what I'm saying? If you the best friend, you can holler at him, let him know. Well, y'all do claim to be best friends, Fizz. You can go and holler at your girl. Then they get on Mickey. asking Mickey, what's going on with him? You in a relationship? You with somebody? Woof, woof. He says that he was in a relationship. Now check this out. He was in a relationship with one of Akon's concubines. Yes, one of Akon's many wives. He was in a relationship with her for a little while. Things didn't work out with them. He's not with her anymore. He's now with Slick Woods. Now, if you know who Slick Woods is, she is the um, Rihanna Venti, I'm sorry, Rihanna Fenty Vintage, the, linger the lingerie model for Rihanna. I can't get shit out, huh? But anyways, she was, you know, he was saying that that's who he's with now or whatever, right? So he was saying that, you know, um, he got to go back and he got to make things right. Well, whoever, we're going to call her Tatiana right now. Because that's the first name that I thought was hers when it popped up on the screen. We're going to get to that in a minute. But he's saying that, you know, basically he was sick with whatever. Right? So they start getting on A1, asking A1, so what's going on with you and uh, Lyrica? Because we hear about what's happening with your ass in the blogs. And he was like, you know, Summer Bunny tried to make it seem like it was more than what it was. Like I was really, really messing with her. Yada, yada, yada. Fizz is like, but you piped her though, right? He's like, well, yeah. And Fizz is like, well, duh, dummy. That's why she's mad. That's why Summer Bunny is making it out to be what it is. Because she was piping her, you big dummy. Fizz then gives this full relationship advice. He tells him, if you really want this to work with your wife, you need to let her know that you there and that you want her and that you all in. Boop -a -doo -boop -doo. Now, don't get me wrong. It was some good, sound, solid 
good advice, but I'm old school. I ain't taking, first of all, I'm not taking no marriage advice from a single person. Number one, numero dos, I damn sure ain't taking no relationship advice from Fizz. How your homegirl saying little Fizz is it, Fizz? No. Now, good gesture. I appreciate your help. I appreciate your unsolicited input. Thank you, because that's what a real homeboy going to do. But how your homegirl saying little Fizz is it? No, boy, you want to take it out? Give somebody something, boy. So meanwhile, Lyrica and Princess are out looking for an apartment because Lyrica claims if things do go south between her and A1, she is going to go ahead and move on up out of there. She ain't going to want nothing to do with him, right? So she's looking at an apartment. Her and Princess start talking. And of course, Princess has to bring up her own issues from the past with Ray J, how he was cheating on her before she was pregnant, how he admitted that he was cheating, how with their relationship being so public that everybody sort of had an opinion on it. And so she's just basically letting Lyrica know, like, if you do this, this is going to be you letting him know, look here, I'm not playing no games with you. I don't want to play no games. I don't know why that song, that song jam. Around, give you my that song jam like hell. I don't know why that song just popped up in my head. But man, that song jam. But anyways, she like letting him know, like, look here, you need to let him. This might be a wake-up call for him so that he knows that he ain't nothing. He ain't shit without me. Or he ain't shit without you. So, like, you need to do this. This might be a wake-up call. And so she was like, yeah, I think, you know, this will be good for me and my son. Girl, you ain't going nowhere. Stop. Stop playing with us. You ain't going no damn where. You. So we see K. Michelle. She's on the beach. She's talking with Brittany B. It was a cute little scene. A little scenery out there on the beach. I really did like it. K. Michelle said that her surrogate went back to Atlanta because, you know, with the kids being there, because she had like 50, 100 damn kids. Then she had a boyfriend. So K. Michelle said it was, you know, a bit much. So she's still contemplating whether or not she wants to go through with this whole surrogacy thing because, you remember, the doctor told her she needs to come up with some more eggs. Because a couple eggs you got, them eggs ain't going to work. So we don't need some fresh, you know, some fresh samples. So she don't know if she want to put her body through that. So anyway, she's meeting on the beach with Brittany B. And so they get to talking about, you know, um, Brittany is saying that she's starting to work with um, Black China. She got Black China studio. Now instantly K. Michelle, that's the one thing I don't like about K. Michelle. She will go in on somebody. Like, true enough. Yes. Now, what Kay Michelle was saying is that, you know, this time last year, she had to wheel herself out on a wheelchair, and she performed on stage in a wheelchair. She loves this. She eats, breathes, sleeps, singing. Music is her thing. She's trying to break out into a new genre. We get that. But, like Brittany B was saying, who are you to knock the next person that's trying? Yes, true enough. Black China in the studio... That's weird to all of us. But at the same time, who are you to judge and say anything about what the heck it is that she want to do? That girl want to go in the studio? Now go in the studio. But K. Michelle is like going in. She's like, I get sick and tired of these people that you feel like because you got a little bit of this or whatever, you can just come in and you can automatically be a singer when I've had to work my ass off of this and I damn near died and I'm still out here trying to do this. But Brittany B lets her know, look here, it ain't no different from you trying to break into the country music scene and them country music folk ain't feeling you. Then again, Brittany, you really can't compare the two. And I say this, because Black China can't sing. Or if she can sing, when heard it, she probably can't sing. You know, we probably, is this something on my forehead? Like something on my damn forehead? If she can sing, we ain't heard nothing. Now, she might get out there, surprise the hell out of everybody, and just blow the roof off the mofo. We got to see that, though. You you going to have to show me that. But, you know, Brittany B just lets her know, like, look here. I'm, at least she's got more drive and more determination than Moniece. And April do. Then they start talking about the whole Moniece and April tour and how she feel like ain't none of that gonna work. Whoopie woo. So she says that um, Moniece actually asked her to come in and to help be a vocal coach to like help get her and uh, April in order. She was saying that she really don't take April serious because of this whole diss track that she wrote about Moniece. And of course she riding for Moniece because Moniece is a homegirl. Girl, look. 
Then they get to talking about Lyrica. K. Michelle was saying how much she misses her friend, how, you know, the things between them last year wasn't good, how they both messed up, which K. Michelle kind of was the one that started that whole rumor about her messing around with Safari in the first place. And like Lyrica had said before, all she wants her is her to apologize and admit that she started the rumor in the first dog on place. So K. Michelle is, you know, saying that she wants to reach out to Lyrica because she misses her friend. Meanwhile, Brittany B., She's saying how her and Lyrica used to be cool. You know, they flashed some pictures of them back in the day before the surgeries for both of them. <laughs> and they, they were cute, though. I think they were more beautiful before they had the surgery than they were now with all of this bing, bang, boom, boom, bow going on. But hey, it's his own. I ain't mad girl. Hey. But she was saying that Lyrica was talking crap about her, was calling her groupie. Just <laughs> very dumb stuff, in my opinion. Very, very dumb. But... We're going to see what happens with their ass. Moving on from them, child. So we have Mickey Monday. His daughter's nine years old. She's a beautiful little girl. Both of them have the exact same sideshow bob ass hair. Just wow, everywhere. They over there at his parents' house. Now, he says his parents are divorced. They divorced when he was like 12 years old. But they still live together in the same household. Child, ain't no damn way. Me and my husband divorced. I don't want to live with this fool. Uh-uh. We can't live in the same household. And, and... You can't tell me that they still not goosing in the same household. That's nothing. We 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 break up. We still live in the house. No. There are some needs that still require to be met, my nigga. I'm sorry, but it is. Moving on from that, though, but what I was saying now, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but they having dinner over there at the parents' house. His mom, dad is there, his sister there, and, you know, the baby girl is there, whatever, right? And so he's just basically talking about how, um, he regrets his decision to, he had a lead role up for him to be on Empire, but he turned it down because at the same time, he got an offer from Akon. Now, Akon basically told him, I will pay you not to go on Empire because I believe in you. We're going to be on the radio. You're going to be the next big thing, yada, yada, yada. None of that ended up happening. And so he lost the chance to be on Empire. And so he's saying just basically, you know, he's frustrated his mom. You can tell his mom still got that um, built up resentment. She was like, yeah, yeah, that was a wrong doggone decision maker. This fool ain't did nothing that he said he was going to damn do. And I don't even, he's not with Akon's label anymore either. We going to get to that in a minute. Y'all, so we meet Trisha Anna. She's the head of a &R for Convict Music, which is Akon's record label, and she is also one of his concubines. Yep. She has four kids. Akon has nine kids. Together, that's 13. She said she was shocked to find out that he had multiple wives. Was this before or after you married him? Um, so they're sitting around, they're talking, you know, cause they, they were, um, at the office, right? So they, it looks like they were in a board meeting, yada, yada, yada. Trisha Ann is talking in the board meeting. Akon interrupts her, like he the man with the plan, but hey, <laughs> his name is on the budget. He can do what the hell he want to do. He interrupts the meeting, basically takes over there, you know, takes over from there, shuts her ass all the way down. And continues on with the meeting and finishes the close the shit down, sending everybody on to their desk, whatever, right? So her and Akon is sitting back talking. And so um he asks about Mickey. Now I don't know if he know that they used to mess around. Cause she says that her and Mickey messed around when her and Akon were separated. But her and Akon are now back together. Mickey is not with the record label and record label anymore. Excuse me. She says that she got him with another record label that she knows is gonna take great care of him, is gonna look out for him, and is gonna do something real great with him. Akon is like, I know he's a hard worker, and that's great for him, and I wish the best for him. He's just gonna have to learn how to be patient. Now, I got a question. Is the fact that he used to mess around with her the reason why he's not on the record label anymore? Like, what had happened, though? Like, because you made him all these promises, and, like, what had happened, though? I'm just curious. I just want to know. Moving on from that. <sighs> Lyrica and A1. Lyrica at home, doing laundry, 
A1 comes in, she's sitting on the couch all sad. A1 comes in, he apologizes for all the wrong that he's done. He says he wants to work it out. He asks her, do you love me? Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? So you never ever leave from beside me. She's like, I would be lying if I said I didn't want you and I didn't need you and I didn't want to be down with you for always. But there's still something in her that says, mm, I really don't want to give him a chance. So this fool says, well, I'm going back on tour. I want you to go on tour with me, perform some of your songs so we can get back and we can party and we can have a good time like we used to back in the day when we was on the road. Have your mama, big Lyrica OG, <laughs> watch the baby and you can come on tour with me. I got two days left. First of all, you gonna invite me on tour now that she only got two days left? How many days did she have in the tour in the first damn place? Really? But you know what I'm saying? It's an offer. I ain't even mad at you for that. Hey. So she tells him, like, just because you invited me to go on tour doesn't mean that nothing is going to change. I'm still pissed off. I'm still highly embarrassed. And I'm, I'm mad at you. Like, this is what you put me through. He says he went through a lot last year. Because let us not forget, she cheated last year. Hence, the reason why he cheated now. Hence, the reason why he had her get a DNA test on baby Ocean Zion. Because he didn't know for sure that that was his baby. But boy, you could have seen fresh up out the cooch. That was your baby. That baby looked just like that damn fool A1. That's a beautiful baby, though. Side note. A1's hair is a hot ass mess. So then he tells her, so you gonna pass up the chance to be on a sold out tour because you don't know? Nigga, why are you worried about the tour? Your focus needs to be getting your marriage back right. She, of course, the last thing on her mind is going on tour, on a sold out tour. Yes, although, baby, that's where the bad comes from. Let us not forget that. But at the same time, she's not feeling that right now. She's not feeling that. And for you to even think that that would be a reason uh, that she would just be like, okay, and then go right back. Boy, if you don't get you and your extension locks at my damn face. Y'all, so we got Monice and April. They're having vo vocal lessons with, um, I think, what is his name? Stevie Mac. He is beautiful. His voice was damn amazing. So he's doing, you know, vocal lessons with them. Monique sings. Monique, I mean Monique, <laughs> that's me. My name is Monique. Monique, she has a, I like her voice. To me, she has a beautiful voice. She can't sing, but she can definitely sing. She has a beautiful voice, in my opinion. April gets on the mic and starts singing. April can sing and she can hold a note. Okay, because there's a difference. You can sing. You can sing, and you can sing, and she could sing, and she could hold the note, okay? Let's just say that. So, Brittany B comes in. Brittany B kind of, I'm, I'm, y'all, I'm not feeling Brittany B, and I don't, I don't, I don't ever like to say I don't like another female, but just the thing she does, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. She comes in and she's kind of being shade. Not really. It was shade, but no shade, but a little bit of shade, like a little bit of this much shade. She kind of starts harmonizing with them because Stevie Mac is, like I said, he's in the middle of doing a vocal lesson on with them. She comes in and she starts to like kind of harmonize with them a little bit, singing over them just a smidge, just a smidge, just a little, little, little bit. And so he, you know, he gets up and leaves and lets them have their girl talk. And so she kind of basically calls the both of them out for squashing the beef. And like, what is this? What are y'all doing this for? April, I'm not really feeling you. It's basically what she says. I'm not feeling you. I can't take you serious. I haven't heard you sing anything but a diss track that you did about my homegirl. And it wasn't even that damn good. And so her and April kind of start going back and forth. Now, Monice is like, she's trying to let Brittany B know. Like, look here. My issue was never with her. My issue was with him. Once again, they start going over the whole logistics of why they were all, which I'm I'm not even going to get into that because I'm sick of that. I've all, I'm already working on trying to get rid of a headache right now as it is. So I'm not even going to get into that because that will, that will set me over the damn edge. But all in all, you know, 
Monice is just basically like, look, I, we're just gonna squash this regardless of what you feel about her. This is what I wanna do. I asked you to come in and help me. Shut the hell up, just help me. So she pretty be lets her know like, yeah, just don't think because you're my friend, I'm gonna take it easy on you. Yada, yada, yada. Y'all just ain't got on my nerves. Moving on from that. Y'all, Mickey Monday better play his ass goddamn right. So he's out to dinner with Trisha Anna, Tatiana. <laughs> If y'all have seen this episode, comment down below and let me know what you think her voice sounds like. It's, 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 oh, her voice. Woo, her voice. Anyways, he's out to dinner with Tatiana. And so they kind of like, oh, he, he says, okay, this is what he says. The reason why they not together no more, they got into it a while back. They got into it because she was in a club with another dude. He walked up on him like, woman, you know you goddamn see me. They kind of went back and forth. Then he starts cussing her out on text messages. That's how they supposedly ended it from there. But somehow y'all back on good terms because y'all are eating dental. So she starts to ask him about Slick, basically being funny. Like, yeah, I see you with somebody new. Yeah, you with that, um, with that bald head model girl with the gap tooth. She ain't even your type. What you mean by that? Yeah, I'm going there. What you mean by that? Because, I'm sorry, Slick is bomb as hell, and she looked better than her. To be honest, that's just my opinion. And so they kind of go back and forth, flirting for a little bit. Now, she says, you know, Tatiana said that her and Mickey only dated for four months. They got together four months after her and Akon separated. They dated for four months, and now her and Akon been back together. So I don't really know that... Just the whole exchange between the two of them gives me vibes like y'all call each other best friends. And we all know about them best friends. <laughs> y'all, so K. Michelle goes to um, Lyrica's rehearsal that she's doing. I guess she is going to go on tour with A1 Child. So Lyrica's um, having a rehearsal. K. Michelle comes in. She was surprised to see her. They sit down. They talk. Talk about everything that happened, starting with K. Michelle starting the room about Safari. She does apologize for that. You know, they both kind of apologize to each other. K. Michelle brings up the whole thing um, with Summer Bunny. Ask her how she's doing from that. Lyrica starts crying. Uh, I mean, y'all, Lyrica and A1, they're getting on my damn nerves. Moving on from that. I, just, I don't have nothing else to say about that. She cried. She ain't going nowhere. She's going on tour with the mofo. What you want me to say, man? I ain't got a whole lot of energy for Lyric and A1. I don't. I don't. I don't. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. K. Michelle invites Lyrica to come perform at her showcase that she's having. Yay. Y'all, so next we got this ghetto ass. <laughs> It's a ghetto ass party at the bowling alley. Brittany B was having, right? Kind of like a little kickback. So she's there. Mr. Ray is there. Jason Lee was there. Um, then Zells comes in. He invited Paris to be like his plus one or whatever, right? Now, immediately when Paris walks in with Zells, Brittany B, she kind of already sour in the face because, of course, she's cool with K. Michelle. Brittany B is the type of chick. Whatever friend, whatever beef her friend got, she gonna take that on too. Which, I'm not mad at you. Yes, that was me all the way up until I was about 22, 23. As a grown ass woman, bitch. I mean, I get it. You wanna have your dog back. My best friend, I'm gonna have her back all day till the wheels fall off. But, something so petty as, as as the beef that she was creating. No, real women don't do that. I'm sorry, real women don't do that. But anywho, they at the little balling party. They partying or whatever. Zells gives Mr. Ray a hug. Jason Lee is like, okay, so I missed the tea since when did y'all start getting back cool? They talk. Paris is on the side like, are we really gonna do like this fake Hollywood? Yada, 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 yada. Brittany B was like, well, since we go in there, no disrespect, I invited you. I didn't invite her. Now, see, when they first walked in the party, Brittany B, oh shady ass, gonna ask Paris and Zells, oh, did y'all Uber here? Because you know the whole situation with Paris and the whole Uber thing with K. Michelle? Yeah. 
she she's a petty one. She's a petty one. She's a petty one. So they start to get into it. She then tells Paris, you can hop in the Uber and you can Uber on up out of here. Because at first, Paris didn't catch that tea or catch that shade that she was uh, throwing at her. But when she said it again, she caught it. She was like, oh, okay, so you must be friends with K. Michelle. That's why you trying to be funny with the whole Uber thing. Okay, so they start going back and forth. Zells was like, oh, no, hell to the no-no. You're not finna go off on my homegirl and think I'm not gonna say nothing to you. So then he starts going off on Britney B, calling her big ass highlighter. Cause the dress that she had on, yes, it was a cute dress. It was very loud though. But you know what? That could have been one of them bowling alleys where if you put a black light in there, you you post a glow. So maybe she was supposed to be glowing like that. Lord, he starts going off on her. He starts calling a wide ass. I mean, he starts giving it to her. Her ass was very horizontal in that dress. Very, very horizontal in that dress. But, y'all, they get into it from there. It's just a mess. It was a mess. Y'all could have had a good ass time bowling. I love me some damn bowling. Throw some drinks and some chicken wings up in there. That's a good ass damn time. But y'all had to ruin that. It was so stupid. Y'all, that was the end of the episode right there. It got on my nerves. Uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed this review. Drop down in the comments if you've seen it and let me know what you thought about it. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And auntie, we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.